So the real question is, for your first test with kinematics, is how do I grade the kinematics problems? We've talked about this in class, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a video of what's going on. To begin with, start by practicing a question. A toy car reaches a speed of 15 meters per second after 3 seconds. It decelerated at 0.5 meters per second squared. What was the car's initial velocity? Straightforward kinematics problem. Go ahead and solve it now, trying to show all the work that you think I'm looking for that we've talked about in class. Pause the video here and do the solution. Hopefully at this point, you solved it. So let's go ahead and start it. Start the video and I'll show you the answer. So here's the answer. If you haven't tried the problem, this really isn't gonna stick very well because you wanna be able to grade your own work and see what you're missing. So let's go through everything that I'm looking for. To begin with, I'm looking for a picture that represents the question. So in this case, I've got a car, so I've got a car in my picture moving. And all of our questions that we have right now are kind of stories with a beginning and an end that is initial velocity and a final velocity and all the stuff in between. Okay, let's keep going. All blends in the question are in the picture. Remember, a blend is a number in a unit. And in science class, we use blends in our equations. We suppress the units and do math and then put blends in our answers. That's numbers and units. So all the blends in the question are in the picture. So when I'm looking through the question, I can see I got 15 meters per second, 3 seconds, and 0.5 meters per second squared. Numbers and units, those are our blends that we're putting into the question. Next, I want to make sure that my blends are at the locations in the question. The question says a toy car reaches a speed of 15 meters per second. So that's the final velocity. So I put it at the end of our story on the right-hand side when the car reaches the end. You can see I have an arrow showing where the motion of the car so I can tell where the beginning and the end of my picture story is located. The time, the distance, and the acceleration, that all happens in between the velocities. It also asks for the initial velocity. You don't need to put that on the picture, but you, that would be on the left-hand side if you did. Next, give me the word givens. I want to know when you make the list, what are you making a list of? What's the purpose of this list? So tell me it's what you're given in the problems, and just write givens, and that's, that'll be enough. And then when I look through that, look at my givens, I'm looking at my blends. So I'm going to have a variable, and then that's going to equal a blend, which is a number and a unit. Not just any unit, but it's got to be the correct unit. And then I'm going to do that over and over for all the problems. So there's a lot to check there. I'm going to look for the correct signs, make sure they're all positive or all negative or whatever they need to be. And maybe it goes without stating, but I want to make sure that all my blends are with the correct variable. So a velocity variable, the V is with a velocity, the A is with an acceleration, the T is with a time. And that helps by having the units there. Now let's look at the right hand side. Next thing I want to see is I want to know what variable are you using. So show me the variable. Writing them randomly somewhere on the page is not the same as showing me which one you've chosen. So in this case I used V equals V naught plus AT. And then I'm going to isolate whatever my unknown is on the left hand side of the equation by moving everything over to the right. So in this case V naught equals V minus AT. So you can see where I showed that I subtracted AT from both sides. Then I'll put in my blends in the next step. So V naught equals all the blends that are there. That's numbers and units. So correct numbers, then I'm looking for the correct units. And then I'm also looking for the correct signs to make sure those match whatever's being told in the story that we're above. Finally, after doing some math, I want to make sure my answer's number is correct. And lastly, the units. I want to know the units are shown and that they're, co they're correct on the answer. Now, if you want a little more pro practice, leave the screen up, go find a problem you did for homework, and then try to rewrite it. Don't not necessarily resolve it, but rewrite it according to all these steps. Then look at this page and see if you would give all these checks on the problem that you just rewrote.